In this video, we're going to make a label that will keep track of the number of times you collide with the alien. So the first thing we need to do is create a variable that will increase every time we run into the into the alien. So let's initializing the score variable and we'll we'll make this a global variable because we need to use it in multiple places in different functions we could pass this from one function to another but for right now we'll keep this as a global variable and we're going to start the score at zero makes sense you haven't done anything yet so that's the the first part we'll initialize that variable start with a score of zero and then down at the bottom let's create a label so right here let's create the label that's going to keep track of the score um, creating the score keeper label so we'll call this score label this is a widget and it is a label widget and we're going to put that label on the window I'm going to make the text say your score and then I also want to it to show what your current score is like this but we have a problem here because score right now is a number and we're trying to combine that with the string so score is an integer a number and we're trying to combine that with the string your score and that's not possible so in order to concatenate these or to put these together oops, we have to convert this score into a string as well that way those two things can can be combined together to make one text um, so that's the window we put it on the window we made the text be your score plus whatever your score is currently I'm going to change the background color to be powder blue And then I'm going to place my label just up in a in the upper left corner. So I'll say X is 100, Y is 100. Okay, let's run that. Let's make sure that's going to work. And you can see here in this upper left corner, it says my score. And then currently I'm at a score of zero. Right now I have not of course, yeah, there's still no collision with the second alien, but I have collision with the first alien and nothing's changing. So what we need to do is every time we collide with that first alien, we need to increase the score by one and put that back in the label. So let's go do that. Okay, if we go up here now, we're going to look at the, the collision detection function. And we're going to say right here, this is what happens if there was some collision detected. We moved the alien, but before I move the alien, oh, I didn't take that out for my practice. So global score, make sure you've got global score here at the top of the function. That way we know we're all using the same variable score. So I'm gonna say score plus equals one. We're gonna add one to that score variable. And then we need to change the text in the label. So we'll say score label dot config remember config means to change and what we're going to change is the text and I want it to say your score and then we'll add on the new score that is created once we've added one remember convert that to a string then we combine those two things together and that will also move the alien. So two, a couple things will happen now if there's collision. We add one to the value of the score, we change the text in the label, and we move the alien away a little bit. So let's try it out, see if that works. Okay, we've got a score of zero. Alien two, we still don't have collision. That's your goal for this unit. But if I collide with the alien, notice the score has increased by one. If I collide again, it's going up. Now it's two, now it's three, now it's four, and so on. Okay, that's the end of this one.